This is Nux NKE, and you're currently locked into Nux NKE TV. Now, this is the one you've been waiting for, the most requested video on the whole platform. Six ways to know that either you're a coon, you're doing coonish behavior, or you're rolling around and you're seeing people that are doing coonish behavior. Number six. Do you, a person, just consider black people to be lazy, have no guidance, have wish no good for them, but you're black yourself? High chances are, you're a coon. You've been trained into thinking you hating yourself is something that's smart, and it's not. Because at the end of the day, something that happens to people that look like you will happen to you as well, and you can't dodge that no matter how much money you got. So this self-hate thing that people have got needs to stop, you get me? And that's, obviously, I'm just talking about race right now, but it happens in every other sector. Like, stop hating yourself and trying to bleach your skin and all this stuff. It doesn't make any sense in it, like. But if you are doing that, you're, you're probably a coon. Number five, whenever someone talks to you about black people empowerment, you've got this negative vibe like, fam, I don't know what you're talking about. We might as well give up now. We might as well not even start. We, it's, a, it's done, it's a wrap. Like, forget about it. You're crazy. Like, if that's your general mentality to black people wanting to be better versions of themselves and maybe grow unity and grow together as a community and your whole thing is nah, they're lazy, they're criminals, and you're black, you're a coon, all right? You're a coon. Number four, do you choose money over black people? I mean, like, if you're an artist and they pay you enough money, would you go out there and start butt dancing and tap dancing in order to distract black people from actually doing things that benefit them? If you're, if you're funded to distract black people and you just do it and you're happy about it, that's cooning, which would make you a coon. So stop cooning. You get me? Number three. You know them guys, yeah, where from afar you think, yeah, that's probably a down brother. He probably understands the struggle. But the closer you get to him, you hear the thickest UK posh Queen's English accent ever. I didn't roll over and have them tickle my tummy. I love that term. It's a beautiful term. Can you imagine me rolling over and letting them, oh, go on, go on, tickle my tummy. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And you think to yourself, Oh, not another one. Yeah, that's right. It's a coon. I'll give you an example. David Lammy. This brother here has the biggest Cheshire smile ever, but he just doesn't, like, guys on Twitter bunning Trump. You're, there's people in your community that are going hungry, losing their jobs, and you're on Twitter bunning Trump blood, and then you're taking backhanders blood from, from, the, from the you know who lobby blood. Do you get me? Insane, fam. And this guy represents what every selfish black person wants to be, which is to have that power but still be a puppet and just useful just, just to distract the blacks, innit? Just to show that, oh, they're represented. That's what you are, innit? The puppet, innit? So that puppet, man, you're a coon, blood. You know what I mean? You're just a coon, fam. And, oh, it's sad to see. Number two, if you compare yourself to other races and you're just like, we're just not intelligent enough. Like, you're fully saying that it's a, a, it's a predisposed that we're not intelligent enough more intelligent than such and such people, you're a coon, do you get me? Because there are smart black people, it's just you're not looking out for them, you're not researching them, you're not finding them, you're just being allowed to be told by obviously mainstream media who's your heroes, you get me? And that's who you follow. You follow whoever mainstream media or the government tell you, oh, here's your hero, you follow it, blood. You're doing the devil's work, blood. You're doing the devil's work, fam, because you're now an operative, you're a traitor. Do you know what they do to man on the other side? You're a traitor, blood. They used to do execution and all that, fam. So I see any man that's trying to help the agenda of black people being suppressed or black people being at the floor of the economy, like, you're definitely cooning. You get me? And that, nah, 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 nah. You're a coon. And number one, no, this one here, I said it earlier on, but it's, this one's deep, yeah? If you're bleaching your skin, you're not happy with the complexion of your skin, yeah? I don't care that you were bullied. I don't care that you don't feel right. You're actually changing God's work, yeah? Because you're saying to yourself, oh, if I get lighter, I'll be loved more, and you know what I mean? I'll be able to do this and do that. Fam, accept the downfalls, fam. That's what life is about, fam, and use your positives to, uh, to your strengths, fam. Like, or use your strengths to your positives. This thing where men are bleaching their skin, man, you, some of your favorite artists are bleaching their skin, and everyone's like, ah, it's all right, you know what I mean? He's an artist, so he can express himself. Nah, fam, what are you teaching the generations? Oh, it's all right to be one shade one week, and then another shade the other week, but you're staying that shade forever. You get me? Nah, fam. That's, that's the ultimate coon. Like, you've gone out of your way to disfigure yourself in order to benefit some music career that doesn't even benefit the people that you're trying to sell your music to. Insane. 
coonery blood you're supporting the very system that is keeping you down or like you're you're help you're you're furthering the um the programming you get me you're furthering the programming that's been told to black people that they're not good enough and that simply isn't true you get me so you're part of the problem most definitely you get me and that's that was number one and that's the top six ways to know if you're being a coon or somebody's being coonish. Yeah, you know I mean, let me know what you think down below. If you've got any other ways, because this is open. Like, if we can get to ten, that would be sick in it. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Uh, this is not NKE. I'm out.